Welcome back, kitchen friends. I'm so excited to have you here today. I was going through my feed and I was thinking to myself, you know, what kind of video did we not do in a while? And I have not done an actual 2020 drawing with you guys in quite a bit where we go behind the scenes and you're literally just watching me draw a complete kitchen from scratch and then learning why I'm sitting certain things in certain areas. So I'm gonna explain everything. And I'm really excited to take it behind the scenes because this is such a cool project that I'm working on. You know, I do a ton of networking and I've met this investor through another investor that I work with. And he's currently working on a flip in, um, you know, the main Tacoma area here that I'm in. And it's kind of a mid-century vibe to this house. So I'm just super excited to show you what I'm gonna come up with. And um, before we get started, make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. I do nothing but talk about kitchen design, kitchen remodeling, giving you all of the tips and tricks on to design and remodel your own successful project. And uh, real quick before we get started, my name is Kasten Cobb, I'm kitchen designer and owner of King's Kitchen here in Tacoma, Washington, and hopefully your favorite kitchen designer in town. So let's get started. Now in this kitchen, I'm going to design a little bit of a mid-century flair. So the home is a investment home that is going to be back on the market for sale. And um, our customer here um, really wanted to focus on like a mid-century kind of feel. Um, it's a mid-century modern um, rambler. So I'm going to use um, a laminate from the Belmont 1600 line. And you guys know I love Belmont. So I will have another link to another video below um, explaining a little bit more about the Belmont. Their different lines, their different cabinet lines. But I am using the 1600 cabinet line to save a little bit of money on the budget here. And they have a really nice um, soft touch laminate in a walnut finish called Noche. And it's a really, really nice finish, looks very good. And I'm doing this on a flat panel door. And then I will do a combination of white flat panel wall cabinets. And we're going with a uh, matte finish look. It's not a glossy, not feeling super trendy or super modern. We're going with the matte white here on the um, wall cabinets, but also like to give it a little bit more um, of an airy feel because it's a relatively low ceiling. So I thought that would give it a nice airy feel. And um, again, I'll make sure I'll have all of the uh, selections for this project below. And I can't wait to actually take pictures when everything is completed, but we are in the ordering phase right now. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but I wanted to give you a preview to this project and um, how we plan it and design it all. And then, um, yeah, I think we're just going to throw some tunes on this video now and you guys enjoy watching.
I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird Yeah, this stuff, it sucks When you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck Everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed To the bed where I sleep, don't give a fuck Can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with a grand in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills
it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you a little bit more inspiration on a different twist on a kitchen. You know, you don't always have to do the same thing. Um, you can totally mix it up. There's so many finishes and options out there that I always encourage somebody to at least explore the different options and see what they can feel comfortable with than just going with a white shaker. I always say white shaker is safe and there's just a ton of people that still are really, really, really loving that white shaker and there's nothing wrong with it but there's so many cool other options to discover. If you have any questions about this video, make sure to leave your comment below. I'm happy to respond, um, like it. I hope you like this video, share it with everybody you know, so we can grow our channel and make sure to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. Other than that, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye.